I want to give you a, a quick review of Buzzsprout. Is this uh, tool slash platform great for podcast hosting? Let's talk about that. So here's an overview I want you to pay attention to. So when you think about Buzzsprout, I want you to think I want you to think about uh, a podcast hosting platform. Okay, so basically Buzzsprout hosts podcast. It will store your audio. It will store your video. It will do everything online. And the cool thing is that Buzzsprout actually acts as a one-stop shop for podcast hosting, analytics, and monetization. And major podcast directories pick up content from hosting sites like Buzzsprout and distribute it to consumers. So think about Buzzsprout as uh, your middleman. Okay, so basically you have uh, the podcast directories, and then you have uh, sites such as uh, Buzzsprout that are in the middle between the podcast directories and uh, listeners. And so when you think about uh, Buzzsprout, you need to understand that podcast hosting is important nowadays because basically those sites that actually host your podcast, they streamline your processes and make your content more accessible to more people without a lot of uh, technical knowledge. And some of the top benefits of using a podcast uh, hosting service include high quality audio and video. You have faster speed and data transfers. You are able to see data on which platforms your listeners access your show from. So we're talking about a constellation of analytics analytics tools that are really important for you. And again, when we talk about podcasts, we're not just talking about you talking to a microphone. You have to think about the after, the after, uh, like once you release your podcast, what is the, the series of work streams that come afterwards in terms of monetization, in terms of promotion, in terms of distribution, RSS, all those important elements are kind of relevant for your podcast. So Buzzsprout is actually used for a, a lot of things. So you have a reliable podcast hosting service. You have a versatile podcast recording software. You actually have uh, the hard, with the bus product, you have the right hardware like microphones and audio mixers. You also have uh, the ability to have great content through the bus product platform. So what are the pros and cons of bus product? Well, the pros, you have a free basic plan. You have a wide range of podcast directories. You have affiliate marketplace. You have episode embedding and transcription. You have API integration and you have award an award winning customer care service. What about the cons? Well, the basic plan expires in 90 days and you have a complex pricing structure. I'll speak about the pricing structure later on. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. Make yourself comfortable and let's have a conversation about Buzz Sprout. I want to talk to you about the features here. When you think about Buzzsprout, what, what kind of important features you, you have to pay attention to? Well, first of all, you have uh, the magic mastering tool. You have Buzzsprout distri- distribution services. You have podcast statistics feature. That's what I, talk, I spoke to you about uh, the analytics. You have visual sound bites, and those visual sound bites are important. You have uh, chapter markers. So let's quickly go through some of those so you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into. So the, let's first talk, let's talk about the uh, the first one. So when you talk about the magic mastering tool, so Buzzsprout's magic mastering feature streamlines the audio editing process. This, this means what? It means you can spend more time writing and recording and less time editing in post-production. So this feature is a lifesaver for podcasters who don't have a lot of experience with audio engineering. And uh, Magic Mastering enables you to uh, optimize your recording for spoken word. So the result is better encoding automatic uh, edits that improve uh, the sound quality of your audio files. You can quickly remove background noise and hissing and automatically adjust music and voice volumes. In terms of Buzzsprout distribution services, here you have, uh, I think I just spoke about that. So this basically provides instructions on how to get your show added to major online podcast directories. So we're speaking about shop, uh, we're speaking about Spotify, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, and Podchaser. And you, you can list your show in as many podcast directories as possible to maximize your reach and expand your listening audience. In terms of a statistics feature, this is where the analytics come into play. So you're able to see exactly what's ha- what's really happening, how how performing your podcast is. In terms of a visual sound bites, this is also really good because uh, video clips have proven to be the most engaging type of content for social media advertising. And Buzzsprout gives you the ability to create them in no time at all. So Buzzsprout lets you create short videos using sound clips from your podcast just select the start and end points for your audio clips and the artwork to create a promotional video can, you can use on social media think about the success that uh, tiktok is having nowadays and the success that uh, youtube shorts are having just fantastic and you also have chapter markers so podcast 
listeners love chapter markets because they provide more control over podcast content. So you give your audience what they want. Buzzsprout lets you add and edit chapter markers directly in the platform. So you don't have to worry about it during the editing process. Fantastic. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We have a conversation about Buzzsprout. So this is a, a review of a Buzzsprout. So what kind of value does uh, Buzzsprout add? Let's talk about the value added here. So in our view, based on our analysis, for all intents and purposes, Buzzsprout actually adds a lot of value in terms of the directory submission. Because if you're able to uh, submit to as many directory uh, directories as possible, this is like money right there. I mean, I know I'm talking about Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Amazon Music. This is really great because this is really an advantage for those who are looking to grow the reach and audience of their podcasts. Okay, it's easier to connect with uh, each of those directories with Buzzsprout. Simply click over the uh, click over to the directories tab, select the network, and press submit. That's it. Buzzsprout has a system in place that will link your podcast to any and all of the platforms that you select, and this is done automatically. And Buzzsprout also provides tools for episode transcriptions to make all of your episodes accessible to search engines, speed readers, and the hearing imp- impaired. Really fantastic, and. Uh, Buzzsprout also gives you a podcast monetization tools. So if you're looking to monetize your podcast and generate passive income, Buzzsprout offers an affiliate marketing database where you can join affiliate programs directly from your your Buzzsprout account. And the affiliate marketplace can be accessed under the uh, resources tab. There you will find several ready to partner brands and there are no criteria to who can use the marketplace. In other words, every podcaster can, no matter how new or small. The best part is that Buzzsprout doesn't take any commission or middleman fees for I mean, from your affiliate earnings. So if you have sponsors outside of their marketplace, you can still add them to your podcast and episode descriptions for tracking. So this is kind of cool. And what we love also is that Buzzsprout also lets you accept donations from your audience by including a link to tools like Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, or PayPal. Fantastic. You also have website integration with uh, Embed Player. So you have a single episode player or a multi episode player. It really depends on you. You also have advanced podcast statistics and API integrations. Fantastic. The API integration is really great because you have a, a series of tools that you can actually uh, integrate with uh, with important, important uh, programs and important software tools for you. Let me give you the approach I want you to follow if you're trying to really understand how the whole uh, Buzzsprout really works. Okay, so how do you get started with Buzzsprout? Now, the thing is, after you've taken the initial steps to start a podcast, you'll need to get your content online so your audience can find them. So it's important. First of all, you want to set up a new show on Buzzsprout. How do you do that? Well, you can set up a new podcast in, in Buzzsprout in just a couple of minutes using the steps I'm going to give you right now. So step number one, create a Buzzsprout account and enter your name, email address, and password as prompted. Very simple, very straightforward. That's the first first step. Second step is select I'm a new podcaster if you're creating a completely new show or select I already have a podcast if you want to add your existing show. Then step number three, you want to follow the prompts, either adding your existing show or entering the title and description of your new podcast. And step number four, in the dashboard, select upload a new episode to add episodes to your show. Simple as that. Nothing complicated here. So how do you publish an episode from Buzzsprout? Now, uploading a new podcast episode to Buzzsprout is simple and it can be done in no time at all. Now, the uh, let me give you the steps you need to uh, use if you want to publish a new episode with Buzzsprout. So step number one, navigate to the episodes page and uh, click the uh, upload a, a new episode button. Everything, everything, everything I'm giving you here is pretty straightforward. Okay, the the good thing about Buzzsprout is that it's user friendly. The UI and UX are just fantastic. So step number two, you want to select and upload your audio file. Step number three, you want to fill in the details for your podcast episode. So give it a title. You know, write an informative description, and remember that anything you write here are, will be part of the meta tag and. Uh, and those meta tags will be part of your SEO. So you want search engines to find your uh, your podcast. So be as descriptive as possible and complete all other relevant fields as well. And so you can also create a cover with the Buzzsprout Canva integration. But we we, we, we don't find uh, their Canva integration uh, really powerful. It's just better to do uh, the, uh, 
the cover the the art the cover art yourself okay and step number four select when you want your episode to be published and so buzzsprout provides a actually a future scheduling and backdating publishing options fantastic and just final step just choose save episode you you, you just want to save uh, the episode's details that's it as a matter of fact you can also uh, import your existing podcast to uh, buzzsprout so you can really do that so during your buzzsprout sign up Select, I already have a podcast when asked by the prompt if you're new to, po- to podcasting or already have a show. And use Buzzsprout to locate your podcast in Apple Podcast. Once you found your show, click on your artwork to start migration. After your episodes get imported, review your ID, three tags, and metadata, and redirect your feed. So directories uh, will actually let, listen, let your listeners know where they can now find your podcast online. Make sure to update your RSS feed across all major directories as well. Very important. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. This is a buzz sprout review. We're actually going a little granular here, so we have a clear you have a clear idea of what we're speaking about. I want to now talk to you about pricing, and I want you to look right now on the screen here. So when we talk about buzz sprout, what we love about buzz sprout is that uh, we love the the transparency here. Like uh, here is a player who's not trying to razzle dazzle you. They give you uh, the price, uh, the price uh, as the, as it is. So you can see here you have a uh, simple pricing, and they're right. Their pricing is simple. So you have the free, you have the the uh, the twelve. You, you pay twelve dollar a month, eighteen dollars and twenty four. So it goes like uh, it's all about timing. So three hours each month, six hours and twelve hours. So you pay according to uh, the uh, the uh, amount of minutes you upload onto the platform every single month. But the cool thing is that most Podcast hosts charge by the megabyte, but Buzzsprout charges by the number of hours of content you upload every month. And the Buzzsprout has tiered pricing with three different, three or four, I mean three different paid subscription options. And uh, so all paid plans include a podcast website, custom embed players, podcast statistics, and distribution to a major, uh, like a major set of podcast directories. And the paid plans also let you add Buzzsprout's magic mastering tool to your subscription for an additional fee. And paid plans uh, bill month to month, so you can cancel at any time. Fantastic! We we'll love that a lot. We we'll love that flexibility here. Okay, so remember that uh, what you need to also think about is that uh, Buzz Buzzsprout's paid plans all include unlimited storage and the ability to import podcast episodes for from uh, other sites for free. And the major difference in the plans is the amount of content you can upload monthly and the cost to upload additional content beyond the plan upload limits. Right. So remember. For the $12, you can upload three hours of content and pay $4 per additional hour. For the $18 per month, you can upload six hours of content and pay $3 per additional hour. And for the $24 per month, you can upload 12 hours of content and pay $2 per additional hour. So it's just uh, it just gives you an idea. And uh, so your the thing I want to say here is that you want you need to have a clear idea of your upload needs and podcast budget before subscribing to a paid Buzzsprout podcast hosting plan. You shouldn't pay for features you don't need, but you also don't want to incur additional monthly charges for exceeding your upload limits. Okay, so do a little bit of uh, research, a little bit of uh, planning before doing anything on the Buzzsprout end of things. Let me give you the alternatives here. So when we talk about Buzzsprout, what are the rivals? It's important to know exactly that uh, Buzzsprout is not the only player in the in this industry right now. And then, so what are the players that you should really be uh, like in case you don't like Buzzsprout or whatever? So you can actually try other other players in the industry. So you you, you have Lipson, you have Blue Blueberry, you have uh, Podbean, you have so you have uh, you have Captivate, you have Castos, you have Podbean, you have you have a lot of you have Transistor, for example. Let's quickly go through the some of those uh, players here. So let's talk about Buzzsprout versus Lipson. So Buzzsprout really wins because uh, if you're new to podcasting, you will appreciate the ease of use. Buzzsprout acts as a one-stop shop for publishing, editing, and promotion. When it comes to features and usability, Buzzsprout wins easily. But Libsyn wins when it comes to uh, if you're trying to upload a lot, a lot of content. If you need to upload a lot of content every month, Libsyn offers better value. So Buzzsprout's $18 a month plan gives you a six hours of upload time, about 150 megabyte of data, while Libsyn's $15 a month plan lets you upload 
250 megabyte of data a month. So this is what you have to think about. What about Buzzsprout versus uh, Blueberry? So Blueberry is uh, a great option for podcast hosting, but its features cater to a certain podcast demographic. So this is important. Now, Buzzsprout wins here because uh, Blueberry actually specifically uh, targets uh, WordPress users and advanced podcasters, while Buzzsprout is a podcast host for the people. And Buzzsprout beats out uh, Blueberry when it comes to uh, simplicity. You can use this host to produce quality content with little technical knowledge for any website or podcast directory. And uh, so Blueberry actually wins where, like if you are a podcaster who use WordPress, you will get more from uh, Blueberry and it's easily uh, integratable PowerPress WordPress plugin. So what about uh, Buzz, Buzzsprout versus Podbean? Now, Buzzsprout beats Podbean in the areas of monetization and advertising. So this platform is set up a lot better for sharing your podcast on social media and affiliate marketing. Now, Podbean's business plan is miles ahead of anything Buzzsprout can offer comparatively. This plan best suits large companies that already have an established podcast. So think about that. It's all about your uh, your longevity here. So what is the decision here? What should be your decision? So the thing here is that we think that uh, Buzzsprout is definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. If you are, if you're new, if you're new to the podcast world, if you are new to podcasting or you are an established uh, podcaster, you will love, you will love Buzzsprout. The only thing is just be aware of uh, the limits in terms of, uh, it's just better to get the $24 a month, uh, like the 12 hours, the 12 hours uh, press and tier so that if you you ever go go above above that? You only paying two dollars additionally. Okay, don't go with the the three dollars or six dollars. It's not really worth it. And in our view, with its unique integration options and exclusive affiliate marketplace, Buzzsprout is a compelling option for podcast hosting, especially considering a free option is available. Okay, now just be aware of that. Their upload limits can limit the length of content. However, and but when when it, the way we analyze Buzzsprout is that. It does offer a lot of value and it shows in the type of features it offers for both newbies and experienced podcasters. Okay, so they really are a great option for podcast hosting. So the bottom line here is you got to ask yourself your level of experience. Are you a newbie? If you are, then uh, maybe pod, maybe uh, Buzzsprout is really great for you because uh, they do a lot of great things. Just imagine, first of all, they will host your podcast for you. They will distribute it for you. They'll, so you, you can easily upload your podcast from Buzzsprout to Spotify using your RSS feed link. Okay. You are, you, you have the ability to uh, make extra cash through the uh, affiliate marketing marketplace. You basically can also make extra cash through, uh, through brand deals, through a sponsorship. And, uh, Buzzsprout is not taking no cents out of that. They're giving you all the money. Something that a lot of uh, platforms don't, don't do, but, uh, Buzzsprout is basically doing that. I mean, at, at least as I did of this show. But so this is really good. So you have, you have to think about all those elements to make a final decision here to see what what uh, what options works for you and what options doesn't work for you. All right, let's quickly quickly do a recap here. So I've just uh, given you a Buzzsprout review. So I actually uh, give you the overview, the features, the value added, the approach, the pricing, the alternatives, and finally, the decision. Thank you so much. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.